There's more pressure on Pharmac tonight with another death possibly linked to the drug funding agency's decision to switch brands of epilepsy drugs. It is the fifth fatality reported to the Centre for Adverse Reactions Monitoring since the change to the generic Logan brand of Lamotrigine. It's prompted the government agency responsible for regulating medicines to issue updated advice to patients using the drug. I asked investigative reporter Guyon Espiner what he knows about the latest latest death. Well, we know it was a 31-year-old Auckland man who had switched to Logan about two weeks ago and who died on Monday night. Now, the family has actually been in, in contact with me and they referred this to CALM, that's the Centre for Adverse Monitoring Reactions. They advised CALM of this yesterday. CALM then alerts MedSafe and Pharmac. So the family naturally are devastated. We're not naming this man at the moment, um, but um, it does become the, the fifth fatality associated with this. The coroner, of course, was already invest- investigating four deaths potentially linked to this brand switch. I've uh, talked to the chief coroner's office to see whether this um, fatality will be included. I haven't had a response yet, but obviously that investigation is going on already. Pharmac stressing again that Logam is a safe drug, that people who have been prescribed it should not stop taking it. Uh, that is uh, their advice today. So has has the advice changed in any form over this period of time as we have identified more deaths? Has that advice shifted at all? Well, yes and no. Uh, the most obvious change from Pharmac was November 15 when they softened their position or they backed down or they reversed it, however you want to couch it. On November 15, Pharmac said, look, if you want to stay on your original brand and your doctor thinks you should, we're going to widen the exceptional circumstances criteria is in the jargon. Basically, if you want to stay on your original brand, you will be able to do so. Now, about 1,300 or more people have applied and something like 1,250 have been accepted. So those are people who Pharmac have said, OK, we're funding you, you can stay on Limictil or Arrow brand, you don't have to switch to the Logan, or you can switch back. So some of those people will be in, in that uh, category. So initially Pharmac said only a small number of people wouldn't tolerate this change. Well, I don't know what your definition of that would be, but so far 1,250 people have been funded to stay on their original brands and rather than switch to Logan. This is an incredibly delicate situation and as you mentioned, the coroner is investigating and will ultimately determine what caused these deaths. So we have five deaths notified at the moment. One would anticipate a certain percentage of deaths in any given year. So these numbers that we now have... Can we place that in any context? Yeah, absolutely, and I think that's what people will be looking for. And there are a few numbers, and it is a little bit nuanced, so bear with me for a second. There are about 40 people who who die of SUDEP, unfortunately, every year, so that's sudden unexplained death in epilepsy. Not all of those people are taking lamotrigine. Um, There's about 48,000 people with epilepsy in New Zealand and about 11,000 or so taking lamotrigine. The official data I've seen is an estimate, a rough estimate, that there could be eight people who are taking lamotrigine who would die in a year. That's a rough estimate. Having said that, the number of reported deaths among people taking lamotrigine in the last 27 years, back to 1992, was just six. So Six so, in total? Yes, yeah, six in total. Uh, that's from MedSafe, that data. So so, so pick your benchmark. It, it does look, and this is a layperson's perspective, like a, like a cluster, it does appear that way. And, and you'd have to say, big enough for the coroner, the chief coroner, to say... I want to investigate these deaths to see if there's a link here. Big enough for MedSafe to issue advice saying some medicines should be prescribed by brand and big enough for them again to say today, and this is a key point in their release today, anyone taking lamotrigine and who is stable on their brand of medicine should stay on it. So that's the first time I've heard them say that uh, and, and pretty clear advice from MedSafe today. What is Epilepsy New Zealand saying? Well, they've come out today basically calling for an end 
to any further brand switching. They say that while investigations are being carried out by the coroner as to whether these um, deaths have been linked to the brand change, Epilepsy New Zealand says that the Ministry of Health needs to act to prevent anyone else getting switched at the pharmacy. They say that pharmacists should be instructed to refer people back to a GP or specialist if a switch is being considered and in the meantime dispense their usual brand. So that's come out quite strongly from Epilepsy New Zealand this afternoon. Um, So that is the advice um, that the Chief Executive of Epilepsy New Zealand, uh, Ross Smith, is saying um, in a press release entitled Epilepsy New Zealand calls for an end to any further brand switching. Investigative reporter Guyon Espiner. And after I spoke to Guyon in the last half hour, the chief coroner has confirmed the fifth death will be added to her inquiry. And if you want any more detail on that story, you can go to our website, rnz.co.nz, and look for the in-depth section.